Yupin Sports, the Chinese Canoe Association, the ICF. And we have Lagzahi up against Van As, but it's Van As, Van As, the captain for the Netherlands, who gets first possession. And they come down the left hand side from Von Hof's slot. Down the middle comes Vandenberg. Vandenberg now. Available on the middle pass. She will receive it under pressure immediately by Lag Zai. Ball comes over the top. Will they gather this? Paddle in the water shot. Oh, save initially by Prabdian. But she couldn't keep it from going into the top of the net. So the first goal of the game then for. Vandenberg, long shot coming from Iran. Oh, and an immediate response. Catching the goalkeeper off guard, Iran, and scoring from the halfway line. What a great shot that was, and what an immediate response. To play on advantage here for the Netherlands. So they come again, but immediately we're back to 1-0, and you can already see the attacking threat that Iran pose. Dijkstra then from the back. She's been directing this team from the back. Nice pass. Blocked though on the way through. Read by Eslami. Eslami can't regather though. Who's going to gain this ball? It is going to be Iran's ball. It's a foul. So it goes to Prabdien. Prabdien with a long pass over the top to Barun. Can Barun gather this? Paddle foul across the boat there. So it's the Netherlands ball again. Currently Iran have two of their players out of position, but coming back now. Fondown loses the ball, but sorry, loses the paddle, but is now back with it. So Fondown heading straight in to the Iranian zone to seek to make space over on the right hand side. The ball comes shaping for a shot and then passing back to Dijkstra. Dijkstra inside. Nice pop pass through. Can it be regathered? Surely into the goalkeeper. No. No foul given. And it will be a goal. So Fanos with the goal. Dutch player must have been played into the goalkeeper by one of the Iranian side. So the Netherlands restore a one goal lead. So Iran get their first structured attack off the game. That long shot right from the restart before. So Barun to Parabdian. Out to Eslami and back to Parabdian. And Iran playing with two players on the inside, shot coming from distance. Is that going to stay in the pitch? It does for the Dutch, it does stay in. So they get the opportunity now on the break. And Iran have quite a few players up the pitch here if they can move the ball quickly. They're managing to get back now. Dijkstra then. To Vandenberg. Dijkstra over to Von Hofschlott. Now to Vandenberg. Oh, off the top bar and down. Who's going to regather this? It's gone out for a corner. Kept out of the way by Metapur. To a corner now for Von Hofschlott. And the Netherlands seeking to make space in that zone at the moment are Von Os and Von Down. Von Os open. The ball drops short, nicely gathered on the way through. Now will they seek for the pass inside? They go for the shot. Big save coming. Double save from Porabdian from Von Down shot. That ball's come a bit loose though. Oh, and Iran do really well. Under pressure there, Eslami does really well to just position the back of her boat to regain the ball. And now the Dutch have gone five out against this Iranian side. So they put one of their players on each of Iran's players. 
and they're seeking to try and make it as difficult for them as possible. And now there's a timeout here whilst they get the ball. I think there was a foul there, or just the corner, just the corner. So the refs changing the call here. It won't be a corner, it's going to be a goal throw. They've changed their opinion. So Iran will have to get back into position in defence. So Dijkstra. So that initial five out looks comfortable for Iran initially and then just the shot. Maybe a little bit of anxious energy. But well wide. Shot now coming. Takes a block. Who's going to regather this? It is regathered by the Netherlands. And back out they come on the attack again. So now on the right-hand side, Van der Maas. Pressure coming on down the pitch from Baroon. Baroon with the push. 44 seconds. Still lots of time on the shot clock. Baroon will go back to the top of the zone. She's got to be careful not to obstruct. She does. Stay away. Ball comes on the right-hand side then. Ooh, careful to prevent the keeper foul. Long shot over the top from Dijkstra is well high. So a new ball required for Iran. So Porabdin, two subs coming on for Iran now. Porabdin comes down the pitch. Porabdin with a dribble. Oh, long shot again from her, from distance, off the top bar. And that's two in the game already for Porabdin. And we're at two all, all of a sudden, yet again. The Dutch trying to play it quickly then to respond. It's with Van der Berg. Van der Berg with a shot saved by Porabdin. She now sends it long down the pitch. To be gathered up. We've got to watch the sideline here. It does manage to keep it in. Who's that going to fall to? Gathered by Pianajmadin. Play on advantage for Iran, though. Audacious behind the head pass by Porabdarin. All blocked. Still with Iran, though, for the time being, Pianajmadin, but she can't regather. And it does come up to a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Goalkeeper, oh, lobs over the top and saved. Can they keep it in? They cannot. So, Vandenberg going for the lob shot over the top of Prabdian. But Prabdian wise to it and already showing her quality as a goalkeeper in this game. Shot coming, blocked on the way through, regathered by Iran. Now with Jalilian. Over the top the ball comes. That's nice. Iran will have worked on this five outs. They will have known it's a tactic the other teams will use. Oh, slightly in trouble there. Now needs a pass though. She'll have to go over the head. She does manage to get it across to Pia Najbadin. 34 seconds out on the clock. It's with Baroon again. Can Baroon get this ball up the pitch? There is a player up there if she can lob it over. Five seconds, I think, called. Ball comes over the top to the captain again. Now on the left-hand side. Over the top again. Comes down for Pianaj Medin. She's got a shot, surely. She does. Takes a block. Is that going to stay on the pitch? Or who's going to get to this first? Oh, and the Netherlands. Deval forced to take it off the pitch there. So it will be Iran's corner and I think the Netherlands will have to switch up their defensive strategy here now because the five out nearly fell apart for them there and they have now tightened up the zone long shot coming again oh saves and off the bar confidence building save then for von Hofschlott that would have been warning sirens for the Netherlands if that goal had gone in just before half time but they're away here and can they shift momentum back to their side? It's a nice run down the pitch. 
from Tival. Tival with a shot, saved again. It's fallen straight back to the Netherlands though. Takes two blocks on the way through. Braid Brown with the shot, but unable to finish. So one minute 20 left for the Dutch. Dutch dribble from the corner. Duval inside, nicely worked, nicely worked. Good push though, smart push from Baroon. Just unsettles Great Brown there. And now Iran are away. They've got a four on two situation. There is a goalkeeper it's just further back, sorry. So a four on three. Oh, that ball needed to go earlier from Baroon. She's in trouble on the sideline. It takes a deflection on the way through and it falls for the Netherlands. And now they must surely have a player down the pitch. They do. This will come long. This will come long to Brait Brown. There it is. There's still another player in there. Iran's still trying to work it back. Brait Brown with another one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Got scores this time. So an end-to-end -end game. But the Netherlands now do take the lead. And let's see what they do now. Will they set up? I think they are going to go for a 2-2 defensive structure to two chasers, two zoners. Another long shot coming. Off the bar and in. Oh, but a foul just before the shot. So it's no goal. And it will be the Netherlands ball and they're playing it quickly. A wry smile then from the goalkeeper. She just manages to keep that in. Nicely done. Well saved. And that will be the half. So the Netherlands lead at half time. Three goals to two over Iran. But Iran with a strong showing by the end of this first half. And in particular, Parabdian looking very threatening from the outside. But teams will very quickly become wise to that long shot and the goalkeepers will be looking out for it. So they will need to find some more diversity within their attack. And the message from the Netherlands will be calm down, I think. Just a very stressful first half there. Obviously, unsure of what the opposition is, is going to be like. They now know who the opposition are and what they're about. So I think the coach will just be asking them to settle into the game and their structures. And they've played every defensive structure. They've played 3-1, 2-2. Five out. So let's see what they opt for at the start of this second half shortly. I think Iran will be pleased at half time. They're not here to scare other teams, they are here to win. And I think they know they're in this game. There is a big opportunity here to take an early scalp in the competition and really set a marker for the other teams in the group. So in the groups here, the top three in each group will progress. And in group B, it's probably one of the tightest groups. It's only a group of four. And it's France, the Netherlands, Chinese Taipei and Iran. So that's an incredibly tight group. Chinese Taipei currently the strongest of the Asian women's sides. They beat Singapore twice at the Super Cup last weekend. And they will be hoping to get through as well. So I think Chinese Taipei for Iran could be practically a qualification game. If this result stays the same, of course, we could be heading towards a draw or a win here for Iran, which would really upset the balance in this group. So, ready to go here at the start of the second half. 
And it's going to be for Iran. Lagzahi again on the sprint up against Dijkstra. The Netherlands had the edge last time. So let's see if Lagzahi can get it this time. Underway. It's a good start from Lagazzi. That ball slightly towards her side, but oh, Dijkstra's done really, really well to make up that difference. The acceleration through the second phase from Dijkstra wins in the ball. So the Dutch here wanting to make a fast start to the second half. Fonosh inside the ball comes. That's nicely worked. Big shot coming. Goal! Immediate goal from Vandenberg. And that was really nice from this Dutch side. They came out firing at the beginning of the second half there. And they go two goals ahead for the first time in the game. So let's see if Iran can respond in structured attack. Will they be reliant on this shot from the outside? There it is. Blocked on the way through. Yeah, Iran are going to need more than that attacking threat. Iran here. Now the Netherlands playing a corner trap, so they're forcing the corner player to make a difficult pass under pressure. Ball over the top, long shot coming off the bar and in! Yet again, I think that took a touch on the way through. That made it very difficult for the goalkeeper. I think it was Von Hoschlott inside. Oh, shot coming again this time long, well over the top though from Von Down. So we're back to a one goal game. Varun with a long shot this time. So diversity from where that shot outside is coming from now. But they go for it again. Oh, and another goal. And unbelievably. Unbelievably, these long shots just. That's four of them now in the game going in for Iran. Oh, and the goalkeepers for the Netherlands will be devastated. That last one in particular. Their teammates need those to be stopped from the outside. They can't do anything about that defensively. Can't afford to get further up in Iran's towards Iran. Working again, that nicely finished. That's another goal for Vandenberg. And whilst they are conceding these long shots, they are scoring well themselves, the Netherlands. And that will settle them once more, but still eight minutes in this game. Let's see how Iran seek to approach this. Another pass around the back comes to the captain. Captain looking threatening, long shot again. Off the save this time, off the bar to the side. Van der Maas making the save for the Dutch. Bonos, down the pitch from Vandenberg, making a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with Dijkstra. Will she pop it inside? She does. Now, this is a big opportunity here. And there we go, the two-goal lead restored by Duval. Nice play by Dijkstra there to get that ball cleanly through and well finished. So, the Dutch women restore a two-goal lead and from panic stations after conceding two quick long shots. Iran now find themselves two goals behind once more. Six goals to four. Shot again from Nuran. Goal again from the outside of the zone from Nuran. Sorry, Barun. Six, five, five goals from outside of the zone for Iran in the game. Another big shot coming. Oh, and a shot from the inside this time from Dijkstra. Nicely gaining the rebound and finishing off. So the Dutch managing to keep this pegged at a two goal difference at the moment. 
horrible for the goalkeepers right now. Knowing what's coming all the time. Here it comes again, saved this time. And the Dutch goalkeeper shouting orders out. I think they now know the marked people should be Barun and Porabdian. These are the goal scorers in the game for Iran. So Pia Najmadine from the corner. I think she's going to have to send this ball long. Passes it inside. Can they work a shot inside? Goes for the shot herself. Eslami, but it's blocked down. And can the Dutch engineer a break opportunity? Dijkstra working really hard to try and get up the pitch. It comes to Fanos. Fanos. To Van Hofschlot. Dijkstra. Dijkstra over the top it comes to Vandenberg. Vandenberg, the big right hand shot inside the ball comes. Shot coming. Goal! This time for Von Down, and that extends the lead out to three goals. And now we have a comfortable margin for the Netherlands with six minutes left in the game. They have conceded two quick fire goals earlier from Iran. There's still plenty of time for Iran to tie this up, but it's looking less and less likely now. And another long shot coming. Oh, and a save and off the bar. Deval then. Looks across to Van, Van Down. She didn't want that ball, but she's managed to regather it. Takes a push in the process. Vandenberg then. Vandenberg will go herself. Von Down has space on this right-hand side. Ops against taking it up herself. Now has arriving on the right-hand side Von Hofschlott. Now smart from the Dutch, three goals up. It's been a tight game. They slow things down a bit to try and work an attack now, use their time. They've still got 30 seconds available to them here. Nice passing, inside ball there, laid off well. Shot coming, surely is shot blocked on the way through. It's going to be a corner for the Dutch, though. Prabdian unable to regather that. And let's see if Iran will change up their, uh, their structure here. It's a difficult one for Iran because goal difference could be super important. Say if they draw with Chinese Taipei, it could be the difference in their games against these other two sides, France and the Netherlands, that make the difference. So Iran will want to try and keep this game as tight as possible whilst coming back into it. The Dutch, I think, will be also thinking about goal difference too. Should they draw with France or Chinese Taipei? Take them as well. So pressure coming on from Baroon, but easily enough away by the Netherlands. So 48 seconds on the shot clock, 3 minutes 20 on the game. Pace of the game has just slowed down a little now. Unsurprising. It's frenetic at the start of this second half. The Dutch now slowing the game down. Dijkstra starts a big run down the middle. Pops it off on the left-hand side. Two passes available on the inside. Dijkstra with the shot. Blocked. And I think Iran are changing. No, they're still set. Maybe they're going 2-2 here. Oh, they've gone for a corner trap. That's what they're playing. So Iran doing the same as the Netherlands, forcing a difficult pass for the corner taker. Take a touch on the way through. Is it going to fall for Van Hofstra? Oh, well regathered. She's also gotten past Pianajbadin in the process. Nicely worked over on this right-hand side of Fontaine. down, down inside. Saved, though. Saved once more. Bray Brown. Saved by Parabdadin. And Parabdadin all the way down the pitch, but that ball's going to fall across the boat and it's regathered by Deval. 
the referees wanting to get rid of this ball that's floated on from the other pitch. And now Dijkstra just having a word with Deval to calm things back down. Deval, Dutch sub there. So it comes back to Deval. Deval to Dijkstra. Dijkstra with a long pass down the pitch. That's come to Great Brown. Great Brown looking for a pass. So Iran now five out. Bit of a late push there by Iran. They're trying to put the pressure on to get something back in this game, but this is going to cost them, I think, because Dijkstra is away. She has the open net. Will she go for it herself? She does. Trying to catch the keeper out and does. So a goal conceded then. Scored by Dijkstra. And Iran might regret that down the line if goal difference becomes very important for them. Rabdian. Oh, nice pop play around the back. That's much better from Moran. That was nice. That's the first really worked opportunity through the hands we've seen from them rather than a long shot. And it worked nicely. And now, now the Netherlands playing the corner trap again. This is becoming more, more and more visible in the game, this tactic. Nice ball over the top. Baroon thinking about the shot herself, but realised she was slightly out of position. There's space on this left-hand side here. If they can find it. There it is. Pass over the top. Can Jalilian gather? It's back with... Oh, shot coming. Nice finish. Baroon looked to fake towards the inside and then took the shot herself. So... Iran cut that deficit by one, nine goals to six. Can they get one more back in these last 20 seconds? Or at least keep the Dutch out? I think Dijkstra here will be very happy just to sit on the ball. She sends it up the pitch now, pops it over the top. Coming to help her is the captain, Fonos. Fonos considers the pass across the pitch, but ops against it. I think they're okay just to let time run out here. The Dutch will take one more shot, Dijkstra. Over it comes to, shot's got to come now, Duval. Oh, well high though. So that will be the game and it finishes. The Netherlands nine, Iran six. So both defences conceding a considerable number of goals in the game. And the Dutch will be frustrated with the goal difference after conceding quite a few long shots. But ultimately they came through a tough challenge against a, a relatively unknown side for them. So great to see Iran back here at these championships. And that's everything for this game. Your next game on this.